Have you ever noticed that when you have a blurry money boundary that the relationship feels a little off? It's like you have your little box and they've got their little box. And for some reason, some incident happened that we crossed into somebody else's box. And perhaps it was really helpful at that time of the crisis or transition, but as time goes, it's kind of worn its welcome and you just feel off in the relationship. Sometimes it looks like anxiety or frustration, anger, annoyance. You know, we have these emotions that tie with it. In having this conversation today, I just want to highlight that I'm not trying to say that you're right or wrong or bad or good about the choices that you're making with your money. I just want to raise your awareness to this happening. And perhaps it's one way that your money is leaking and instead it's going elsewhere. And it's kind of taking away some of the strength or decision-making that you're able to do in retirement. So there are three ways I often see this happening. The first is some sort of funding that's happening for another person. Thank you. Now, for this your could support. be in the form of a monthly payment consistent monthly payment. It could be a sporadic request for help and payment. It could be a credit card that's given and it just paid off by the person. Or it could be like a phone bill. You know, we use our phones for a lot of things and those bills can get kind of high. The bottom line is that person doesn't really have a reason to stop the support. And so you then are continuing to support and support and support and kind of wondering, when is this gonna end? Is this really working in their best interest? They're an adult, should they be doing this on their own? At some point you may decide that you want to cut off that funding for them and doing so in a way that keeps your relationship in right relationship so that you can still sit at the Thanksgiving table together, of course, is super important. Another way I see this happening is when someone has access to somebody else's statements and bank account. So it's not even necessarily that they're moving money on their behalf. It's just that they have oversight. It might be a login that they're checking. They can see how you're spending from month to month or not saving or saving. What ultimately happens is this person that's able able to make financial decisions on their own has you looking at their stuff and that might create conversations that are uncomfortable. You might feel anxiety. Are they going to be okay? Perhaps cutting off that access could be helpful for you to let them learn the money lessons that they need to as to make better decisions with their life. The third blurry money boundary is when someone else is attending the meeting with you with a financial advisor. Now, I think this is really helpful in times of transition and crisis, especially when someone is having a hard time remembering what the conversation was or just wanting to have a second set of ears. But what ends up happening is that my client, oftentimes a woman, is deferring the decision-making to somebody else. What do you think, young lady? And so they'll sit in the meeting together and ultimately my client is there that I'm talking to and giving questions to, but that person is deferring to somebody else and that person from their perspective is answering and shaping money decisions therein. What that does for the client long-term is that their money is not necessarily tied to their best interest or their purpose in life. It's tied to the logic of another person. And that can be helpful in a short period of time, but then long-term can create some ick or that feeling of dissatisfaction or uncertainty in their finances long-term. At Pleasant Wealth, we are always looking to see where money doesn't feel good and how we can create more clarity, confidence, and ease in the picture as to create more satisfaction and joy in life with money. And so these are areas that blurry money boundaries can be shored up, and then you can get back to those smart financial decisions that really shape the life that you want. All right, friends, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. When you are ready to start your pleasant financial conversation, go to our website, www.pleasantwealth.com to request a meeting. And until next time, friends, you take care.